This galaxy has 106 empires at the start of the game. This is all done in Vanilla Stellaris using the power of the Federation Origins and Imperial Fiefdom. I'm going to simulate 150 years of the Grand Admiral AI to see them take on the five times crisis that can spawn 75 years in while we see the chaos memes and how dumb this AI can be and as a treat, maybe even a war in heaven. So here we are with all of your submitted empires. Look at how beautiful they are. We will be starting as the United Nations if because apparently, according to the Reddit post, it will also spawn the Commonwealth of Man, which is an extra empire. We will, however, be switching the origin to Imperial Fiefdom for even more empires. It only works if you do one because otherwise you'll just spawn as a vassal with them. And here are the settings. We do have 30 AI empires, but all of the AI empires will be four spawned as federations, tripling the number. So here is our spawn but we will of course be observing here and <laughs> look at this galaxy 98 ai countries and then five fallen empires bringing us to 103 and then we have the marauder empires which is another three bringing us up to 106 empires from game start <laughs> my computer's not gonna have a good time just scrolling through we've got the greg empire spawning here greg's light fixtures of course the origin is common ground they're an ai hyper lubrication basins and introspective interesting the ai is just focusing on exploring well surveying for now eyeballs on the other side of the galaxy trying to get their planets which is a bit hard because there's gonna be so many empires because you Grand Admiral economies are insane. Oh, this one is quite aggressive. Distinguished Admiralty, Warrior Culture, Fanatic and Militarist with Common Ground. Common Ground does spawn random governing ethics here. We have a Fanatic Militarist and then the AI has decided to spawn a Pacifist Xenophile and a Xenophile Materialist. Great game. It will be interesting to see how many tier 5 federations we might get. Surely nothing can go wrong with that. It's mainly about more trust and buffing up the federation more damage to end game crisis unity and raise trust cap by five for each official assigned to that federation that sucks two unity you can only assign one delegate so this one will have six unity okay more damage to end game that's two and 50 percent you can get very interesting yeah we have now jumped five years ahead we do have a lead here but of course it's the overlord of the imperial fiefdom the holy kemplaren empire they have insane resources they're not even able to work every job they are upgrading industrial districts they of course start with some more advanced techs they've already got gateway activation it's just so many techs already now if you didn't know spoiler the vassal block here will split at year 50 so that's going to be very interesting we're going to get even more empires out of the federations we do have cool king cool king crabs kooky killer crusty crab kingdom in the lead here they only have one planet they are saving another one, but they are branch off as Megacorp, which they could just put into their Federation members because they got lucky and they did not spawn as Megacorps. That is very interesting. I thought they did. Does this Origin make Megacorps very good? Look how much trade they're getting right off the bat. Very interesting. The only issue is you... What? They get a trade league too. I did not know this. <laughs> they're almost level two, increasing their trade value by 5%. Huh. That is very interesting. Let me just write this down as a video idea. <laughs> so why does this matter? Well, the Trade Federation gives you access trade league which gives you unity consumer goods and energy it's so good so look at the resources even though they're grand admiral 200 energy 86 consumer goods 67 unity you can just then with your capital and stuff just mass spam alloys and research and it's fine they've gone frawling operations which is anglers which is interesting free traders for more trade value this is very strong wonder did anyone else do this morning nice day for fishing eat it huh we have an anglers a Garian idol pacifist build here it's quite strong food is not bad the only issue is the ai is stupid and they probably won't take catalytic processing which would make this even better their first planet they are just look at how the ai build now ignore the fact they're building mining districts but they've got research labs they've got agricultural districts and stop working the enforcer because they don't need to which is insane and one last look for the first five years here the cardu interplanetary hierarchy in fourth place the uh they're not even a submit one they're a randomly generated empire functional architecture byzantine bureaucracy worms is the leader um the worm dependency they're not doing too bad warrior culture nationalistic zeal hegemon they are so there are a few origins or federations that are allowed to be submitted hegemony is a bit different members get five percent more resources they're already level two federation president 
doesn't contribute to Federation fleet capacity without deducing their own naval cap. That's pretty cool. It's kind of join or die. You can get a war goal that forces people into your Federation. Be interested to see if they use that when they get to level three, which they are zooming to as they've always max cohesion. Now to make the recording a bit easier, I have already just let my game run and simulated and made saves every five years here. Um, this took a while, but if you want to ever go into more in depth at the year points that I'm talking about, join the Discord. I'm going to put all the saves there the Empire text files so that you can make your own simulation so easily. And we also host games and stuff there. So join it. Now, year 10, we do have some new leaders here. The Rothka League, which are not the leaders the Unity of Concorda are. They're going Pleasure Seekers, Fanatic Pacifist, Catalytic Processing. That's not following at all what the leader booked. This is just like a randomly built, but they've got lucky with more planets than the other two Federation members. They got all three of them near them. So they're just going to zoom ahead here. They've already got 40 Corvettes, just standard, standard Corvettes. The techs they pick, quite interesting. Research speeds, pretty good. They've already got a bunch of techs. You can see the AI are not messing around. 270 science on pretty much everyone that we select. Grand Admiral is not a joke. And we do have our first war. Oh my. Uh, it's going to be very hard to actually find these wars. There's so many people. <laughs> We have two Federation blocks here. The Kanzan Citizary, who are militarist, selected kinship, Crusader Spirits. So they're doing Crusades, are they? They're against the Greg Federation. They're trying to con- How have they done a Conquer War goal when they have Crusader Spirit? What? <laughs> um, it says they're the, the war leader. Unless someone else submitted that war goal, which could be likely, because they are the attackers. Greg, oh, they're engaging. We have Greg going in with their Prime and Core member against, what is this? Two 1.4 and a 1.3. This is just Zarkan defending themselves. And there's another 900 coming in, but we do have the Federation fleet running away. This fight is too close for you to run. They're coming back in. Oh my, yeah, we just have the standard. Everyone has the same layout. Oh, we have tier two coil guns with the Federation fleet. This could be a big turning point. Oh, this is close. Can Greg take him down? It looks like Greg might have it here. Oh, and reinforcements just come in. The other Federation. They can now push on to conquer. Let's see those claims. They're there is only oh they've claimed like their home world here the kebran multiplex could be in danger of just getting eliminated straight away they only have one planet greg will live on though don't you worry that is the only war going on at the minute this is not going to be good for either of them because they are surrounded by other federations that they will make contact with if they're weak they will probably you know get taken advantage of we can see the galaxy is now filling up 10 years in okay 15 years in the war is still raging but they have taken those claims and they're just running through them now. You should just surrender here. Are they waiting to just take the planets? They've already taken the planets. I'm surprised they're not surrendering. They've got 100% war exhaustion. And because they're a martial alliance here, they get less claim influence costs, which is very interesting. This might force them to be a bit more aggressive. At tier 3, they get more ship fire rate. Very interesting. I'm just surprised this war's not being pieced out with. Oh, they're going in. Yeah, no, Greg's Federation will have fallen to the Kazan Citizary. Now let's have a zoom out. Look at this galaxy after 15 years. It's so chaotic there is so many empires and there's another war going on how is there a solo empire what happened here grateful hegemony are alone wait did they no they left the federation i think this is what happened wait we can check with their origin um hegemon subordinate yeah they <laughs> there's an internal battle here the submission was the new rabbinal army high admiral grayfield in charge they are punishing the vassal that did leave they're trying to impose ideology for some reason interesting didn't know that could happen as you can see greg's federation is just right at the bottom now that's what happens when you get pummeled now we do have a new leader the federated fian preservers but it's only them who submitted this oh my god uh, they're not federation origin this is annoying oh well Okay. How did they spawn? Is this even like a submitted empire? Okay, well, I've looked in the, the notepads that has all of the empires and they're not in there. They must have been... What are they? Four worlds? Though? What? I am deeply confused. If anyone knows how this has happened, let me know. I can't seem to find their empire in the files. So they, I don't know how this has happened, to be quite frank. Anyway, the Rothak are in the lead. They're not even a empire that spawned <laughs> manually. But Cool King Crab's Googie Killer Krusty Crab Kingdom still in the lead here. Of course, um, the Megacorp is going crazy. They're just going to find more and more people. And then next to a federation that has the 
exact same colors. Almighty regime of all that is known and unknown. Big bro, ask for gear. Oh, we have a war up here. Two federations, the worms and the eyeballs going at it. They're trying to vassalize. The, the eye are getting vassalized by the worms. I got trapped. You could say they are the eye of the federation, I guess. But they only have one planet. They're quite weak. They do have 8.5k. 16 years in. Ah, they have the Federation fleet, which is 5.5. 64 of them, tier 2 blue lasers. They're going straight for them. What do the worms have? Not enough. Not enough at all. Yeah, they will lose to I. Federation fleet OP. Especially when you have a Marshall Alliance Federation, you get more Federation naval cap, which is doing the wonders here early on. Now, down in the south, we have had our first Empire elimination. We're down to 97. Greg's Federation now only has two. How sad. And the Farum block have expanded to another capital but instead of repairing anything you know oh they're purging as well they were robots that's very sad they don't get much benefit because they lose all the pops but they're building a planetary administration at least zero pops here and their capital literally has people unemployed never mind it no longer does interestingly they do run into the benefits of unemployed pops so they just decide to take the consumer good upkeep to be honest it doesn't really matter they have so many resources here's the galaxy so far you can see ah the commonwealth of man did spawn here we did get that extra empire they're just building up on unity and earth is actually up here all the way it's all hidden up here <laughs> well here we are 20 years the eyeballs are expanding they've taken pretty much all of the worms here they really shouldn't have tried to vassal them they are losing some of their ships but they're just currently bombarding <laughs> nectar of hope <laughs> I don't think there's much hope for you unless, unless the Federated Worms could do anything about this. I, I don't think they can. They only have 2.2k. Their vassals have some amount of ships. Oh, they're engaging. Oh no. No. Piece by piece, they fall. You idiots. This is why the Worms will die. They cannot be coordinated. But we did just draw Pot of Greed. Pot of Greed! Allow me to cause Pot of Greed. They are also a megacorp. They are definitely greedy. Green. Um, Capital Yu-Gi-Oh is doing fine unity and research. Then their second planet is weird. The branch officers, they all build commercial forums first, it seems. That is probably the best one. It just makes more trade and a merchant job which gives you more trade they've gone to they finished off their diplomacy first all of these empires start with diplomacy because they're in a federation they got mercantile next that's actually pretty good well done ai i am proud yeah they also get you ah they didn't start as a trade federation does that rng what the ai picks you gone research which is not bad you get free research agreements more research speed more research speed research alternatives research speed more red text, more research speed, more research speed. Everyone gets a buff when there's a crisis. This is just more research speed. But they have gone for consumer benefits, some more consumer goods, some more research. Interesting. We do have a war in the West. Federated all weavers are currently fighting the almighty regime of all that is known and unknown. A conquer war goal between them both. They have not claimed any... Oh no, they, all that is known has claimed a planet. The AI often do wars that is just like, why? You're not really getting much from this. But okay. And we have a war down here two wars oh my blessed Istran assembly um i think rocky rocker rocking rocked rocked wanes the uh <laughs> they've submitted one here some empires have switched leadership now as that happens against broken baddies smelting and pharmaceuticals incorporated and then the rocks also against who else but the armstrongs so they're fighting a war in the south and the northwest this is not good for them they've lost a lot of their ships they don't have federation fleets they're engaging here 7.6 federated fleet You're you are not winning this. Oh dear. There's a lot of wars going on. Oh wait, there's an end threat. Wait, wait, wait. Who else but the Armstrongs are a driven assimilator in a federation? How is this allowed? Are they all driven assimilators? No, they're just normal robots. They're all robots, but one driven assimilator. Very interesting. Driven assimilator has a 3.4k and they're just nomming, nomming, growing. Oh wow. Yeah, so when I said this uh, barren block, we need to be careful with warring that early because the other federations might come and kill them. Yeah. The Nagolian Carnate have declared war. They are barbaric despoilers. And they're just wrecking through this federation now. They took out one empire, but now they're getting destroyed. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of fleets. It's a lot of split up fleets, but it's a lot of fleets. They're just sending like a few 
take out star bases. Very odd. They do have destroyers now. The worst builds ever. No A slots, of course, and they're just bombarding. So a lot of the AI, oh, they're stealing pops. That's smart. Here is the galaxy at year 25. You can see a lot of the space has now been taken. Kappa Company has launched into the lead somehow with zero pops. What? Oh, they are a mercenary enclave right by the prince people who do get mercenary uncle capacity. Interesting. That's a random name and they're cappers. Oh, we've got a war in the east here. Just everyone wants to kill everyone. Imposing ideologies, vassalizations, only farmers galactic subscription service. Let's just check this out real quick for um research research purposes. Um Corvée systems, Catholic frozen fanatic pacifist. They declared a war. Oh no, they're being declared war on. Let's hope they can survive for reasons. Yes. Forced friendship are the ones attacking. They are trying to force friendship on OnlyFans. A d idyllic bloom empath. And you have two planets. What is this Gaia Cedars phase one? How do they have Gaia Cedars? Uh, what? That's an origin that you do not have. Have we got some cheating going on? How how do they have this? <laughs> I don't see anything funky in the, the game files, but genuinely, I don't really know what I'm looking for. That is very interesting. Yeah, ev almost every federation seems to be at war here. Greg is dying again. No. F's in chat for Greg. And while you're down there, consider subscribing. I don't know if we're at 40k subscribers yet. If we are, thank you very much. If we are, at 50k subs, we'll do another goal like going for every achievement, which is insane. And you don't want to miss these amazing videos, of course. And uh, the Federation down here is getting absolutely destroyed. They're losing most of their pops. At least they've got a rift in space. They do have 5k fleets. The issue with the AI is they don't death stack. This is kind of a good thing for human players, I guess. But getting things done when you're just watching them, they kind of just bumble around the place. Oh, well, they didn't have... I thought they all started with diplomacy. Interesting. I am an idiot. Do not know how this works. I guess common ground don't. 30 years in. Oh my. This is, is it's getting laggy. It's getting very laggy. Uh, and we still have the wars going on. Oh, humiliation vassals. It's becoming a bit chaotic. It's very hard to track things. Greg's still dying. Recipes, Greg. They're just becoming a vassal though. Chosen army theories at war. The Commonwealth of Man. Oh dear. Imposing the ideology of, of theoriness, I guess. This is a great... <laughs> A great boon for the bit. There is. We are reaching level three federations now. They were a trade league. A lot of more trade stuff. Were they capped? No, they weren't even. It's very weird what choices they make. I'm not going to lie. None of them are a uh, mega cool. Commonwealth of Man is losing to the Eaters of Eden as well. What are you? A Driven Assimilator too. We do have some Driven Assimilators around here. I like the variety of empires. Well done, guys. Alt Whole Head Incorporate. Oh, why? They are a mega cool, but they did not. I oh, know they did go for trade league as a mega cult. why do they suck a level three they've got loads of branch offices that they're thriving how's our best friend up here doing the grabs they're no longer are oh, they third still they have a bunch of branch offices they're not doing like loads and loads they got mark master of nature or districts interesting they have no fleets really but they make money <laughs> only farms is in a stalemate ish they're kind of pushing in now actually but they have a hundred percent war exhaustion there's still no collapse to community which is funny i think it's based off like a percentage of the galaxy and as you could see most empires can't see much because there are so many empires in the way so many the eyeballs are still doing well they're no longer in a war they have two planets now they did take one well done eyeballs we believed in you the whole time never doubted you yeah we're getting these tier three federations the military one giving warship fire rate which is pretty nice for them but apart from that it's just wars nothing too big's going on let's skip ahead 10 years year 40 it is shaping up there is barely any free space now you want to expand it's got to be done through a war just like what the part of the greed are doing against ulm and power rangers no empire seems to go supremacy that often supremacy is just so good for war and just in general inflating your power oh no the eyeballs are dying again worms are taking revenge oh no this is so sad and down here the marine block they're out of their war but they've got annihilated pretty much all well, their pops got stolen not good still no council and the over lord is almost a hundred k strength oh my and our friends greg here not doing too hot almost at the bottom and they're just getting annihilated by everyone around them it's not great now we will skip another 10 years to see the collapse of that 
Battle Block. Year 50, and this is what the galaxy looks like. A lot of empires are taking their place in the sun. Now, we do have that Battle Block breaking apart. I believe that Overlord is now at war with everyone, except for Earth. Earth just was like, yeah, we're, we're okay. We'll just, we'll just chill. We, we don't want to fight you. But look at this. <laughs> now there's 104 empires, five fallen empires, and the Marauders. Bring us up to 112. This is great. This is, this is good for my computer. Thank you. There's still no galactic community, but in an unfortunate turn of events, Greg is getting completely annihilated by everyone, including the Federated Fian Preservers, which aren't Federated at all for some reason. We will, Greg will be in our forts forever. Eyeballs are at peace. They didn't lose much except for this planet over here. Uh, no, wait. What? Oh, yes. The worms took that back. The worms took this planet back. The poor eyeballs and their Federation. Now, someone is now in first over the Vassal Overlord, the uh, Elizan Entente, the Erizican Corporate Alliance. They have branch offices. They are in a Holy Covenant, level 3, more planetary ascension effects, which I don't think the AI will be using, at least anytime soon. But they got branch officers, which are quite powerful early on, and they have a massive federated fleet. They're doing quite well. 30k, 50 years in, is not that high. It's not bad. There's just so many empires. This is madness. It'll be interesting to see what this looks like in 10 years. 60 years in, there's still loads of empires, but people are dying. Kappa Company is now top, and the Delta hirelings, which, what the hell? What? And fun fact, the mercenaries, which I believe this is, right? Surely. Have a situation, a different situation that then fires the event. That's very cool. I don't know why their origin is prosperous unification too. That's pretty cool. And they get a civic. I didn't know this. They get buffs to their ships. They're fanatic militarists and more buffs. Their leaders buffs to things. They, they're kind of like a mini functioning empire, which is weird. Yes, the corporate alliance. They're still at war. They have 50k now. It only went up. Almost doubled. And they're fighting Paradox Interactive themselves. The big boss. They have star fortresses they are a mega corp media conglomeration brand loyalty and now refurbished distribution solaris 2 incoming maybe they're almost a level 4 hegemony paradox are defending though a imposed ideology against the biggest federation in the game and they're just getting murdered there's nothing you can do nothing the empire of gurkir hill we haven't really looked at the west here destroying the rocks who are only a two-man federation it's it's not going well for them Looking at the bottom, Greg is not bottom. They are dying, but they're not bottom. The civilian Link who is getting murdered here by the Squidward Tentacles. How have we not seen all of the uh, empires yet? A lot of angler bills. You guys love anglers. Year 69. Nice. The galactic community has formed. They have put nothing forward. But it looks like our galactic recycling initiative will go through. Oh, they're so stupid. Oh. In the top place, we do still have the Ur Rizuku Corporate Alliance. Are they just murdering things? Paradox Interactive is almost dead. Rest in peace. They are just over Stockholm now, bombing them into oblivion you can see if you look very closely Slaris 2 just got bombed that's not good let's look at the middle of the pack one of these empires um yeah the, let's look at the power rangers how are you doing 40k fleet strength pretty nice all planets that they built up they've got rangers they're just spamming researcher labs and temples yeah they're just living peaceful lives to be honest going for some traders you know standard stuff with their environmentalist functional architectures richest pacifist scene well, not bad. They've all got Federation fleets, of course. They're level four Holy Covenant, meaning uh, Sacred Nexus and equivalent buildings provide plus one high priest. The Shroud is cheaper and Unity Focus Colony designated provide an extra priest per 25 pops. The only issue, they haven't gone <laughs> psionics. There, that's 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 a thing. Who is bottom? Greg is not bottom. Do Greg exist? They do. Greg has made a comeback. They're not right at the bottom. They are at war with the non-Federation Federated. Who is last them? Is trying to empire with one planet 19 pops on great promise there is not a lot of promise they are liberated ah they became a vassal from a war i guess they are the empire of google vassal very interesting and yes they are voting on recycling initiatives they are stupid there's five more years until the crisis can spawn five times there's no way they're strong enough they're much weaker than the 30 ai empire simulation i guess that's because there's just so many people they all get less plan it. Let's see if it spawns. Year 80, there is no crisis in sight, but what does reign supreme is the 
Lukaku corporate alliance. 150k, and they're still in this war against Paradox Interactive. They've been in this war for like 20 years. Oh my gosh. This is the biggest issue I've noticed with the AI. They just suck at taking things. They have so many fleets, but no transports. Ugh. In terms of things that have been put through, we've got buzzword standardization. The recycling initiatives went through. That is it. Nothing's on the floor. And we have regulatory facilitation at top and cooperative research channels. Council is quite slow, but they do do all of their tasks and they do activate um, cloaking, which is cool. And they have some cloak chips. These frigate classes that have an auto cannon and torpedoes. Why? I don't know. The theories are killing the eaters of Eden again oh wow they're going in here oh no this is just <laughs> what why have the mother eater calls just made loads of civilian shit Oh my, AI, why? We're looking at the middle of the pack again. Morning, nice day for fishing, 25k. They're just chilling like the other empire we saw before. Lots of habitats now. Did they take these? No, it looks like they built them. The AI just struggled to work all of their jobs, it seems. This game is lagging. I would not suggest this. <laughs> look at the galactic community. Look how many, look at them. Why are there that many? Oh my gosh. And really, no AIs have died. There's more, there's 106. So it doesn't even get better better as the game goes on. Greg is actually steaming up the charts here. Where the hell are they? Are they dead or are they doing well? They're here. Greg's light fixture. What are you doing? They're, they're above a lot of empires. They're doing well. How are they doing well? Well, Greg's house, lots of research technicians. They haven't repaired the research lab. Don't ask why. They've got a lot of lube so they can uh, procreate very quickly. They have more planets that are just awful and they're not trying to fix them. Build stuff. You have 19,000 minerals. Oh my they are building a few things but i mean come on now we did have this driven assimilator here they are just murdering everything but they're like right at the bottom um i think they got bullied which is good now let's see if in five years anything else interesting happens maybe the crisis maybe something else interesting we'll have to see eight five years and nothing much has changed but what once was a great empire the kingdom of durin is now a vassal under the holy Kemplar empire which is over here if who we started up is just chilling they don't care they're not doing that well they just kind of did nothing all game so we missed year 90 but um things have happened <laughs> everyone is now one federation at level five as they have united against the war in heaven most empires here have joined the league of non-aligned powers as you can see oh my Part of greed didn't so they're fighting everyone else there is just complete chaos in this galaxy but don't worry greg is still alive greg is fine they might board to someone but they've already taken them well someone has so yeah the two fallen empire the discreet zealots have gone to war with the grisabian peacekeepers who are like right next to each other this could mean the war ends quickly right with you know a league of non-aligned powers benefiting we'll see we'll see um they have 1 million power 700 thousand the closest to that 115 116 300 with their zukin corporate alliance actually that is very strong why are they so low they have no economy i guess nobody works the damn jobs you have 37 thousand minerals yeah i make me sad 100 years no crisis spawns the war in heaven is still ranging and no movement of the borders really the peacekeepers have spread a little bit obtaining a few friends but really they're not doing much they're just of course bombarding a planet with four people the ai cannot win wars and nobody else is really moving their fleets in i mean i wouldn't if i were them they're just bombarding random people who didn't join the league of non-aligned powers like doofenshmirtz evil incorporated tower which is getting bombed to oblivion rest in peace but don't worry greg remains strong greg always remains strong greg has 60 000 fleet habitats everything the federation's going strong where is the federation fleet surely it's huge it's not oh no it has 120 20k. Let's go another 10 years into the future. Let's go. Oh, my dog. Let's go another 10 years into the future. 110 years. This <laughs> help. This takes so long. Literally a month takes a minute or two. And there's literally not much movement. The peacekeepers have lost way more of their territories, but now the zealots are just spreading. At least they're killing the uh <laughs> driven assimilator of the galaxy. But all of these small enclaves as well are kind of pushing out a little bit. Not too much. There's no sign of the crisis. And in the community, they want to resolve of the war in heaven but everyone is in breach except for a couple actually <laughs> the hive and high kingdom even greg is in breach who are getting destroyed by the peacekeepers oh no they're taking it back now well done greg there is just complete chaos
chaos. The ships are all spread out. Like, I'm sure if they concentrate their firepower, they would be able to win this quite easily. But the AIs, I mean, my theory is that they don't really want the AIs to concentrate their power and be smart because otherwise as a player you could just get bullied you can see the hive are just actually murdering things that's why they're not in breach people another 10 years the peacekeepers are almost dead but the zealots are pushing out into this large galaxy even their friends that joined them are still holding on the only thing that could save this galaxy maybe a crisis but there isn't one coming yet even though it could have spawned 75 years into the game <laughs> 45 years ago. Please, my PC is struggling. What we do have, though, funnily enough, the center system spawned, which means they've been doing the rift stuff. Who did this? Strange wormhole. The Galactic Rua Alliance seemed to have done it. Did they, though? I think they did. We have a miniature galaxy. Lots of astral actions. Maybe they did. The council are trying to protect their waste while all being in breach. Why have they done this? 130 long years. My game is dying. The war in heaven, though, is almost over, it looks like. It's just, as we know, the AI suck at finishing wars and because it's a total war, I think until the last system goes, they're not going to peace out. And there's just a lot of random systems that they're going to have to bombard because they don't make transports. But they have got 430k, 300k, 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 150 Paradox Interactive with 150 using their cheat codes to come back from pretty much being dead. Greg even has 170k. Greg, we always believed in you. But it is happening. Ghost signal the five times crisis will be spawning soon and the absolute chaos that this galaxy is in not gonna be good for them it's, it's not so let's see when it's not good for them the contingency is here the four planets what have they spawned with paradox of fourth also by the way i don't know how that happened 14 million i thought five times would be a bit more doable but it doesn't look like it we got the first sterilization hub in the where the commonwealth of man were but Commonwealth of Man, a, the, they don't really exist. You got the second hub in the west, and they're just spreading out here. They have 2 million on their big fleets, 800 on the smaller ones. <laughs> it's not good. It's not good at all. The third one's down in the south here, where the Zealots were. They actually might be able to fight them off. They didn't lose everything. Did they lose everything? They lost everything. But there's another... Wait, wait, wait. Why is there another Fallen Empire at war? <sighs> oh. <laughs> the non-aligned powers are now against the corrupt caretakers as well. As the crisis. Yeah, this galaxy is not good. And then the fourth planet is up in the northwest by the the, 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 the people. Wait, where did the Krusty Krab people go? They're dead. Montu's multiplayer madness killed them, I think. No. Barbaric despite I hate you. I hate you. <laughs> The Krusty Krabs. Oh, no, they're still here. They're just called something. Oh, no, they're, they're dead. This was their planet. Ah, it wasn't Montu. It was these. Still, I blame Montu. We'll go another five years in the future. Maybe the contingency get repelled. We don't know this. 140 years in, uh, the contingency is spreading. I don't think anyone's dealing with them. 17.2 uh, million. They are just spreading. Spreading off they go. Oh my, the game's so laggy. Yeah, they're basically tearing apart the zealots. And they're spreading here. Up here, they're spreading. Uh, yeah. Is you, like I've said, the AI don't consolidate their forces. Allowing these peacekeepers to actually go ham as well. Uh, all the threats. Yep, the, the cat takers, they're killing everything. It turns out 90 or oh, how many do we have? We have 80 now. Oh my, we've lost a lot of empires. Turns out we don't stand a chance. We do have high fleet powers, but it's not enough. Paradox is all the way down here now as well. Five more years in the future. It's more of the same. They haven't even passed focus the contingency, so nobody really cares. Even though they're killing everyone, they don't care. As long as they make profits and more ships that do nothing, because uh, of course the highest fleet in the world. What are they doing right now? They are actually... Oh my, this is a bad idea. Okay, they are doing stuff. They're just bombing a citadel that has six people on, and there's no armies in sight. I think this is the biggest issue with the AI, the armies. It, it bottlenecks them so hard. There's not an army there. They're sending in transports, but it's 2k. Okay, 2k is not a lot. But against a full empire, you need more than that. And they will get depleted by taking out all of this. This isn't even for the contingency too. Yikes. Let's hope 150 years in the future they've uh, sold things here. 150 years. Nothing is better. It's only worse. The contingency, 23 million. The fallen empires and stuff, they are dying. Albeit, they're wasting their troops and their fleets on the fallen empires and awakened empires. Now they're over here buying the... I don't even know what they're doing. The awakened empire? I don't know. I don't know why they're all over here. <laughs> uh, yeah, this game is so laggy. And I just say 150 years. But I did five more and then I, I can't. 
it's been like a day and here it is 155 years simulated with 100 plus empires and there's 79 left so we've not lost that many that's why it's lagging so much final numbers greg is still alive paradox still alive the eyeballs still alive crazy crabs are dead as we know contingency is killing everything one of Peacekeepers no longer exist here, but they exist in the space that they took. And the contingency is just going completely mental. 26 million. No one can fight them. We, we have lots of fleets. I don't really know the total. It's a lot. But they're not grouping up. Like, we just have random 500, 600k, 200. But A, they're not good ships. Like, they, uh, it's so bad, the ship designs. This is a dreadful. B, they don't group up. They are kind of grouped up, but they just they just want to bully the Awakened Empire and let the Contingency go completely mad. The Contingency got so powerful that the Cyberx Remnant even spawned up here uh, with 1.5 million, but we don't have the computing power. Look how long a day takes. That's unedited. This was the simulation. I think they pretty much lost. Here is the victory screen. If you see your empire, well done. There is a few submitted empires here, but it's mainly the vassal spawns, it seems, some of the most powerful. If you did enjoy this video, check out the time I did a simulation with just 30 empires, all from the Patreon submitted. Click it here to watch it.